Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Excel. In this module, I want to show you five really cool tips that you can apply to any worksheet. So first of all, this one on the right, what I've got here is people from countries and a list of units sold and a value of each of those sales, and then a total at the bottom there. What I want to do is, instead of typing or repeating this all the way down, by just doing that, pulling it down, which would work, just undo that. And the same for Dave Green to pull his name down. There is quite a cool little feature that you can utilize that will do it for you. So if I just highlight this whole table, and obviously this is a very small example, factor it up for a bigger table. If I then do control G to go into go to, and then go into special, in there you can tick blanks, it will highlight all the blanks. And then all you have to do without clicking anywhere, just type equals and then click on this cell above like that and then do control enter and then it will fill everything in for you like so. So that's the first little one. The second one is this little function here. You can see what I've got there. I've got a column of colors and a label that I want to have like that next to them. So basically all I did was I've come over and do it. I typed equals array to text that's the function name press my tab key to get the bracket and then highlighted the array and then just close the bracket on that one don't need the final argument and then tick and it should do exactly the same it drops them in like that so that's the second little tip the third tip is this one here where if i put a number one in the status column i get a green tick and then i get the job been crossed out in red and with strike through applied so I'll just do another one you can see how it works like so now let's just do that one over here out of the way a bit so if I come over there and just do job and status I'll just do four jobs so task one and then just pull that down to four and then what I need now is to have a conditional formatting set in there which is going to give me the tick so if I go into conditional formatting manage rules or new rule new rule the one I want is the first one I'm just going to get myself a little icon set and the one I want is the this one with a little green tick and I don't want it set to percent so I'm changing that to number and that one and I'm just going to use the top one with a one leave the one the next one down as a zero Click OK to that, click OK. Now at the moment, I haven't changed it as I want it to be, but if I just type a one in there, it should get a tick, but I'm seeing the one. So what I need also to do is go back in there and hide the number. So you go back into manage rules, edit the rule, and then you've got this option here. Tick that, then it won't show you the number. OK, OK, so it just shows the tick. Now on this side, I want to highlight this and get it to go red, italic, and with strike through applied if that's a one. So back into conditional formatting, just highlight, manage rules. So new, in fact, I don't want the whole thing. I just want that conditional formatting, manage rules, new rule. This is going to be the formula one. So then if I just move this down a little bit, I'm clicking on that row there, click on that cell, and then I need to take the dollar signs off. So I need to press F4 twice just to leave it on the P in this case, but not the seven, and then you set your format. So the format was font to be red and italic and strike through like that. Click OK click OK, click OK, and it is working. So if I put a one in there, that one does it as well. So that's OK, that now works how I want it to be. Now the next one is a bit more involved. Again, I've got um, some ticky boxes, which I'll show you how to get those. When I tick these, it's getting a percentage complete at the top there, progress bar, and this is just adding up only if it's ticked. So at the moment, four of them are ticked, so it's coming back with £40. If I take one off, £30, another one off, 
so on and so on. So it's using the sum of function to do that, and this is using the average function to show the percentage. So let me just create this little table at the top. So if I just do task one again, just do five tasks, bring it down five, and I'll leave a space there for the progress bar. Just merge and center that. And then I now need the ticky boxes. So the ticky boxes are on the developer tab. Now, if you haven't got the developer tab, you basically need to right click on any other tab to go into customize ribbon. And then you can just tick the developer tab on. It is part of Excel. It's not an add-in or anything. Click it on. In there, in the controls area, you've got this insert bit where you can use these options. And this is the one I want, this little ticky box. Clicking on that, and I'm drawing a little checkbox like that. Now it comes in with lots of text in there, so I'm just going to get rid of that text like so. And then if I click off that, so when you tick that, you know, at the moment it's not doing anything, it's just being a ticky box. But if I right click on that and just click away a minute and just make that a little bit smaller, as soon as I link this to a cell, so I'm just going to position that up. And then copy and paste it down, copy that, and then paste it into each cell below, and then move it into position. It's a bit of a faff on getting them all lined up, but you'll get the idea. I'm not going to spend too long getting them lined up. Let me just get five on here for a minute, and I can position them where I want them to go. And then what you have to do is sort of tell it where it's what, what cell it's looking at. So if I just and to move them, you just have to keep right-clicking on them until you, so you can get them. Um, obviously, if you want this to be nice and neat, you want to sort of set this up in some sort of layout order. That one's a bit screw with, but let's just move that on there a bit. Okay, so they're all higgledy-biggledy because I can't be bothered doing it. But let's just click on this top one. You go into Format Control. This comes up. You click into cell link and then you click into the cell you want to link it to, which is that one. And then you repeat the process. Just right click on each of the other ones. So right click. So I can get the other one. Got it. Format control. So cell link is that cell. And then OK to that one. And then this next one. Right click. Format control. Cell link is that one. Click OK to that. Right click on the next one. Format control. Cell link is that one. OK. And the last one. Format control. Cell link is that one. Now what's going to happen is if I click OK to each one of these, when you click into these text boxes, it just puts the word true in there. Now I don't want to see the word true, so I'm just going to change the font color to white. So the font color is white. Um, I'm just going to move this one so it's directly underneath that one because it's slightly annoying, and so is that one. It does help when you've got um, your screen zoomed up, actually, to sort of line these up. And this bottom one's way out. Okay, so now I've got... It's still not lined up, but you get the idea. Um, I've got the ticky boxes putting the word true in there so that's going to work that out but what about this thing at the top here what I need to do now is put this formula in this box which will give me and then format it to a percent so I'm just going to type that in there equals average open the bracket with the tab key and then select your little check boxes and then do a times one and close the brackets Close the bracket and then just tick that and it's coming back with four, two of them are ticked. But if I go back and quickly format that to percent, I haven't got percentage up there, yes I have, 400 percent it's coming back with, it's obviously not correct because I've put 10 instead of one, get rid of that, tick that. 40% is correct, and if I tick on these, there we go, happy teddy bear. Now, 
what I want to do is put a data bar on that. So back up to home, conditional formatting, um, data bar, just pick a solid one like so. Now that's just gone straight across to the far right. I want to format that slightly. So back into it, manage rules, edit the rule. And I need to change these to number, both of them. And that needs to be on a, on one because it's percentage. Uh, and I only no, I want to show the number. I do, I do want to see the percent as well, so I'll leave that. Okay to that. Okay to that. So now when I tick it, it just shows me like so. So that's your progress bar and giving me the percentages. Now the last little tip is um, the sum if function. So just adding up figures dependent on these ticks. So remember these ticks are producing true. Now, if I just give £10 for everybody, every task, so you can work it out in your head, like so. So I only want to sum it up like that one. So it should just say 10. And it's a sum if function I'm going to do. So I'm doing equals sum if, pressing tab to get the bracket. So the range that I want to look at is these, first off. If these, comma are true so i'm just going to put the word true in there it's a logical i don't need to put it in brackets or anything into in quotes i don't need to put it in quotes comma if that's true if one of them is true add up these close on my bracket click in the tick 10 20 etc so on so the sum is functions working so that's a, that last little tip there's the formula if you need to replicate it yourself so that's all I want to talk about in this little video. Five little cool tips in Excel that you can utilize in your own spreadsheet. So hopefully it's of use. Thank you for your time. I'll catch you on the next one.